Hello, welcome to this short video in which I'm going to go through the very basics of Git branches. Uh, so this is one of the core concepts of Git that is very simple to understand, but can also be quite confusing. So let's get straight into it. I've got a local VS code here and I'm going to create a file. We're going to initialize it into Git and then I'm going to create some branches and then we can see how it all works. Uh, for this video, I'm just assuming that you have a very basic understanding of Git, but I'll, I'll run through it. So let's start off and I'm going to create a file. So I'm going to call this file. Um, let me say read. read. So this is a readme file and in here, I'm going to put um, some basic text. Now this is just so we can see the changes and how Git works. So that file is created. Now this is my terminal. And if I do a Git status, you can see that we are not even initialized for Git. So I'm going to do Git init. And that initializes this folder. As a, as a Git repository. So now I can type Git status and you can see we've got no commits. We're on branch main, which I'll talk about in a minute. And we've got one untracked file. So I'm just gonna add that file. So if we do Git add and a dot, now Git status will show that that file has been added and then we need to commit that file, Git commit, minus M and a message initial commit. Okay, so this is all very basic. So now get status and we are clean. So what I've done now is I've created a file and I'm in the main branch and I've committed that change. So one of the benefits of Git is that you can create branches and do some development outside of your main working sort of files. So we've got a file called readme.md with some basic text in it. Now I want to make some changes to my, my file here, but I don't want to do it in the, the main branch. I'm going to do it in a development branch. So I'm going to create a new branch. So you just type git branch, and I'm gonna call this feature A. Now, if I type git branch, you can see now that I have my main branch and a new branch called feature A. So if we want to move into the feature A branch, so I'm going to now say git checkout, and then the name of the branch, feature A. So now when I type git branch, you can see that I am now working in my feature A branch. So if I go over to the file and I'll put some text in here and say, this was created in the feature A branch. Okay, so now let's clear that. So now if I do get status, you can see that the readme file has been modified, but it's been modified in the feature a branch. So we are going to add that file, and then commit the file with a message feature A. Okay. So now we're here and I am in feature A branch. If I go back to the main branch, so I do get checkout main, you see I've switched back to the main branch, but the text has disappeared. So the feature A text has disappeared. So if I was working on a new piece of code, 
imagine that the main branch is my working production code and then I wanted to make a few changes to it and test it then I can move into the the feature branch so get check out feature a and here's my new code in the feature a branch so I can test this see if it works and if I don't like it I can go back into the main branch everything's fine so now I'm happy that my new code that I've written here is working and it's not going to break anything what I need to do is to do a, a git merge and what that does is it merges all the code that I've created in my feature a branch and it merges it into the main branch so adds it in so just to confirm here I'm in the feature branch so we can do that with git branch just to see that I'm in the feature branch and you can see on the left hand side here is the the new code that I've put in which is working and I go and check out to the main branch and that code disappears so now I want to update my software and I'm going to merge the feature a updates into the main branch and you do that very simply with git merge and then the name of the branch that you want to merge in and what you'll see happen is on the left hand side my text here comes in so now see what branch I'm in I'm in the main branch and I still have the feature a branch there but all the changes that I made in it have now been merged into the main branch and appear in the file so now this is my production code this is doing its thing and it's working fine and then there's a bit of housekeeping to do now so once you're happy this is all good uh, all you have to do is delete your your branch so this you don't have to you can leave it there but it is good housekeeping because all the code is now in it's working it's fine so we can do uh, git branch minus d feature a and that deletes that branch so if we type git branch you can see i don't have that branch anymore and that's about it so that is the very basics of git branches and how they work um, in the next video i'm going to go through how to do that with a pull request and doing it with someone else and doing it in a, in a github repo um, but for now this is just working locally on my machine and keeping track of changes so i hope you enjoyed that um, my name is roger perkin i'm a network devops engineer based in the uk and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.